Hey, what's up, my lovely degenerates? Before we get ourselves to the questions, I think it's important to let you guys know what's going to be happening for this month. Videos I plan on making will have to be pushed to next month, considering that I kind of want to take this time to be with family for our first anniversary of my grandfather passing away, which will be on the 13th, and I want to remain silent for this month out of respect. I also want to focus on turning 20 next week, and most likely job hunting, since I haven't been getting many hours at my current one as of recently. So, I guess you can say that this month, I'm going to be taking a break on scripting and editing for videos and just focus on myself for a bit. However, I still wanted to at least get that Pentagram video out and also answer the questions you guys may have for me before I take my little break. Also, yes, if you guys have noticed, I am using four Nikki's talk sprites that they have actually asked me if they could draw. And yes, I still feel bad for not having to pay, since this is quite a lot that they are doing for me. Even so, if you guys are interested in their work, go check out their Twitter, follow them, hit them up, commission them. I'll put a link of their Twitter down in the description below, since that is their main platform. So without further ado, let's get to those questions, shall we? So we are starting off with Ruby Knights, who asked, Who's your favorite character from Fairy Tale? Well, that's kind of hard to say, since I kind of only like a certain amount of characters in the show. And while it's typical of me to say that Natsu is my favorite character, I also want to say that all my favorite characters from Fairy Tale are Natsu, Sting, Rogue, Ares, Wendy, and Levy. What is your favorite anime? I remember answering this question in my previous video, which was Hitalia. But if I were to give you guys my second favorite, it would have to be the Devilman series. I remember when I was obsessed with this series for months, and it was actually the first series that motivated me to read the fucking manga. Cause, let's face it, the older animes never finished, the chibi anime was unreliable, and lord knows that Crybaby went off the rails with the story being modernized. And of course there was Amon and Lady, but Amon was pretty much an OVA that took a different turn and went overboard with the shock value gore, and Lady? Eh, I only saw the first episode and got bored. Till I read the manga and was like, HOLY- I mean it was fucked up! Can you actually believe how fucked up it was? Holy fuck! It was fucked up! Holy shit! What, what, what the fuck kind of shit is this? I'm okay now. How's life doing, Miss Mayor Dumsville? Eh, for this month, it's not going like rainbows and butterflies, but it is what it is, you know? Any chances of Pentagrin coming back and or improving herself? I mean, I can kind of see her trying to improve herself, but considering the fact that she ran away again, I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. I also heard that stories came back, and honestly, all I can say is, You got a lot of nerve coming back. Well, I thank you. That was not a compliment. <laughs> What's one anime you've never been able to like, no matter how hard you tried? Seven Deadly Sins was one of them. Now, I will admit that when I first started watching it, I was obsessed for a short while, but after I watched episode six, I suddenly lost track and went on to something else. After that, whenever I would try to rewatch it to get myself back into it, I just couldn't for some reason. I was also kind of tired of the fan y shit, so there was also that. At least Bond's still hot. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to power through these so it doesn't take too much time. Hey, uh, private investigator, I know I said I'd answer multiple questions, but I would definitely appreciate at least 10 to 15 questions at a time rather than answering 20 to 25, because I'll admit that this is kind of pushing it. What is your favorite type of music? That will be answered in a little bit. Are you usually a positive person? I like to keep things positive during conversations and situations. It's so I can get rid of this cynical mindset that I tend to have from time to time. So far I'm getting better at it, but it's still kind of hard. I'm sure some of you can relate to this, but when you deal with bullying issues from middle school to your senior year of high school, one cannot help but become a little cynical and more self-aware towards the society and the world around you. Sorry for getting a little personal there, but I just thought that it's important that I'm open with you guys and letting you guys know who I am as a person. 
While I can't be open about everything, I can promise you my honesty. What's your opinion on the meme market lately? Eh, I haven't been paying attention to it as of recently, so I can't say. Which company is actually better at creating quality stories and amazing world building, DC or Marvel? I don't care for either of those. Which is better in the long run, having a loving and committed relationship with another person or being able to watch anime all day? I'd rather be told every day that I'm worth it and that I'm loved over living in some anime fantasy world any day. Dank memes or edgy memes? Belt. Who is better at killing zombies, Chris Redfield or Leon S. Kennedy? This sexy motherfucker. Should all the weird otakus and weebs be deported to Japan? What? N no. Okay, uh, not gonna lie, I feel like this question was about to cross a line we shouldn't touch. Because let's be honest, I don't think we want a repeat of what Logan Paul did last year. Now do we? Is the Dumbsville and harsh opinion shipping part of your channel's canon lore? Hell if I know, man. Fucking hell, I didn't even know that my channel even has a lore. What do you think of men going their own way and feminism as movements, respectively? I don't want to get into that mess. Do you like good anime, like Cory in the House? Eh, Cory in the House is good, but I prefer the dub over the sub. Do you believe in life after love? I mean, with how great me and Dumbsville have been as of recently, I do. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I actually attempted to watch Rick and Morty just so I could understand the references people like to quote from time to time, but I lost track of it and couldn't get back to it since. Are you easily frustrated when around stupid people? Eh, I usually try to debate with them just so I can try to find some common ground, but if that doesn't work, then yeah. Sometimes you just can't reason with dumbassery, especially the self-entitled kind. Will you ever branch out into traditional sponsorship? I see this channel as a hobby, so I doubt it. And considering how I like to cuss, I doubt they're gonna give me the monetization even if I signed up for it. Alright, that's enough answering questions from Private Investigator. Like I said, I know I said that I'm willing to answer multiple questions, but I'm putting a limiter of answering 10 to 15 questions at a time. So please, don't, don't play this game of 20 questions with me, okay? Thanks. Which one of your videos are your favorites? Eh, I guess it'll have to be that one has been hotel meme I did. I don't know, I just kind of thought it was funny at the time. Which one was the most fun to make? <laughs> that one video where you and me put Levi in pockets on blast. That was certainly fun. And which one do you regret slash hate the most? Well, the whole point of my channel is to exercise the idea that I'm allowed to state my opinions on certain matters without regret. So I don't really have a video I regret making or talking about. Then again, there was this one Heathers video I did when I first started my channel that I later deleted because I referenced some political shit and it pretty much taught me not to walk on that broken glass covered road again. Do you enjoy slash play any TCGs? If so, which one? Uh, I have attempted playing TCGs, but they were just never fun for me. What's your favorite video game music? Well, as you can tell from my background music choice for this video, I really enjoyed the Silent Hill soundtrack, ranging from Silent Hill 2 to Silent Hill 3 and Homecoming. Of course, I also enjoy listening to the Haunting Ground soundtrack, and I listen to other soundtracks from time to time, but those two games are my mains. If you could go in any anime world, which one would it be? P.S. Your OC look beautiful. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I've always pictured myself as being a total badass in the Final Fantasy world, but I also see myself as being an overpowered mage in the fairy tale world. The runner-ups being Psychopaths, Servamp, and Attack on Titan. Also, thank you. I'm glad you like Alexis. What do you think of the Sonic live-action movie and its sneak peek pictures? I think it's fucking hideous, and I find it sad how fan artists can do it better than whatever the fuck this shit is. How or where did you draw your inspiration for your OC? Well, as I stated in a previous Q&A video, Alexis used to be an Ezreal's OC. But if you're asking how I drew inspiration for her current design, I mostly just focused on myself a little, and kind of thought it would be funny if she was a goth punk wannabe who can only pull off the hairstyle. 
That I also came up with because I was always too fucking lazy to draw the other eye, and whenever I did, it would turn out shitty. So I pretty much just gave up and decided to put bangs over her eye. The clothing choice is pretty much my typical wardrobe during the summertime. I absolutely adore crop tops, and I always feel so self-conscious about my legs, so I usually wear jeans. I don't care how odd it is, I'm wearing jeans, goddammit. What was your first video game? Well, my first video game was actually Mario 64 on the classic Nintendo 64. What was your first Sonic game? It was actually the very first Sonic game that came out for the Genesis. What got you into drawing? Well, I never really traced, but I do remember when I used to just copy what I would see on the computer screen to paper, and then I kind of just went from there. I'm still learning though, and I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck anatomy works, because fucking hell, what are hands and feet? And fucking, where do the curves start and end? And how squarish must the male body be? Holy fuck, what is drawing? What got you into ranting? Tumblr and a few YouTubers. Do I need to say any more? Did you know Sonic the Hedgehog's target audience has always been teenagers as opposed to children? I mean, I kind of figured, to be honest, considering some of the themes they portray in some of their games. Shadow the Hedgehog being a big example, with them literally giving a hedgehog a fucking gun and even saying damn in a couple instances. Do you know Chris Chan? And if you don't, try watching his biography. Anyone who doesn't know Chris Chan are most likely new to the internet. In any case, yes, I know and heard of him. In fact, I've known who he was since fifth grade, when I accidentally stumbled upon his Sonichu series on YouTube. Ugh, <sighs> what a dark time that was. What music do you listen to? Anything that can get me to dance and have an awesome time. I don't listen to one genre exclusively, cause like, where's the fun in that? I also like music that can help me get through my episodes of being emotionally numb. Will you step on me? Sure. Will these shoes work, you fucking slut? What video games do you enjoy playing the most? Hmm. Well, in my previous Q&A, I did say that I enjoyed playing Haunting Ground the most, with Resident Evil 4 being the runner-up. But if I were to give out another favorite video game without having it related to the survival horror genre, it would definitely be the Mario & Luigi series, with my number one game being Bowser's Inside Story. Let me tell ya, I had fond memories of that game. The runner-up will have to be Bravely Default. Definitely. Well, that will be all for this month's Q&A. Thank you guys so much for all the questions you guys have given me, and thank you guys so much for the amount of support. I really never thought something like this would happen to my channel, but I guess even the biggest of doubts can be proven wrong. I hope to provide you guys with more content in the future, and I'll see you guys soon after my break. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you later!